people you know the vibe right about now a million dollar question is being asked in a the tuesday morning the may say vibes cartel will pay you if you can tell we under which law is he in prison for same way the may say even though his conviction is squashed people you know the vibe welcome back to another youtube upload in the report we have a bag of things said we have exposed some new things hold up also is allegedly baby mother is me and say fold out and come talk up a bag of things we happen to her so we have that for check out so you are in for a treat in the tuesday morning so if you're new to the channel definitely subscribe you know the vibe we get right into the report i realized that this vibes cartel case is way more than what it appears to be <laughs> Watch, you know, I'm here representing the 876 Blitz for this YouTuber. So people, as stated, from the whole Privy Council quash the murder conviction and people still not the vibes cartel fall out yet. Them still I wonder what the fuck really are going on. Likewise, myself. As you may say, no, people have a strong allegation I make against the justice system say it is really now of some personal feelings make this a one because he's a free man and him liar even make no know say need to stop talking about this free vibes cartel because really and truly vibes cartel is a free man. But I just like the allegations them where I make say it have to be of some personal feelings or of some personal corrupt reason why him still did it. Now, in other report as stated, a female will seem like she's of some law background, as me say, react to the whole case and the whole ABS corpus application. Now we have the video to look on and honestly speaking, me watch it myself already and she talk up a bugger thing. Our name pan TikTok is Angel Reacting. Is the may say? And me can pin our at in the comments or even in the description. The video is very informative. So it is best that you watch it to the end. Is the may say? Good night, my besties. Angel here, and I'm reacting again. I'm reacting because you asked me to react. Mega react from the Vice Cartel something. This Vice Cartel case again. I'm not going to stop reacting on it until when I see Vice Cartel walk out of that jail, prison, horizon. A lot of people is not going to like this video, but that's your opinion. That's your feelings. But I'm not going to stop, stop speaking out because I'm not speak up because of guilt or innocent. I'm not, I'm telling already that I'm not speak up because of green or orange. I'm not speak up because of, I do not come here with favoritism. But come here, sir, for react based on what I've seen, the law, your rights, and the people, what the people ask in and what the people would like. Me I got react on the one because I realized that this Vice Cartel case is way more than what it appears to be. Now let me say this. Your opinion is valid. Mine's is valid too. You have the right to like and to dislike who you dislike. But you not fit, take it to the next level of disrespecting nobody if you don't like somebody. I mean I can wish bad pan nobody. Me will never say. You for what? Are you figure dead? Because men are like you. Never. That's that's hate. You have a whole bunch of hatred. And we hate and we dislike most of the times because we don't know and we don't understand. Let me get into it. Isaac McKinnon file an appeal. Not even an appeal. He filed in the court for Avius Corpus. Right? Let me say this. Him should have filed it from day one. Him should not have to wait for the DPP play fear on number one. Because number two, it's more than what this seems to be. Why is this prosecution office and these people so headstrong, persistently determined to hold this man in jail? We don't need a charge. We don't know reasoning. We don't come into the Jamaica public 
on a platform and said, this, I am the DPP. These are the reasons why we are still holding Vice Cartel in jail. And this is what the Jamaica Prosecution Office will be doing in the next two and three months. First of all, the prosecution office in Jamaica and I have no respect for the people of Jamaica. Them not explaining and telling them nothing where them I do and where them I go do. Them just do it. Because apparently, this governing body we're down there is moving to our war. Right a move from. We no longer democrat. It seems like we're no longer a democratic society. It's like a dictatorship. These people that are in these office are dictating and telling you what and when them want telling what they want telling them. Like I said, she should have came out from the moment the Privy Council send it back and void this conviction and explain what the next process is going to be, what is going to cost us. But them now do that. Number one, and let me come from, I'm going to come from she. Vibes can't tell me going back from. From day one, Isaac should have filed that. First of all, the Privy Council send this man case back to the lower court. His conviction was void, which means he has no, no longer does he have a conviction over his head. He's not convicted of anything. He's not a convict, which means he has no felon. He's not a felon. He has no felonies. He has no misdemeanor. He may have nothing. He's sitting in jail since the Privy Council overturned, not overturned, reverse, void his conviction. Them not charge him. Them not explain to the Jamaica people what they're doing. Them just have him in jail sitting. Tell me now, why? What is this about? Is this more than what we, the Jamaican public, and we, the world, know about? I'm, I'm asking a question. Me not business who don't like cartel. Me telling you all the time, you know. I am not here about green, orange, labor right, PMP. I am here about my rights and your rights. And vice cartel rights has been violated from the very first day that the Privy Council void this conviction. I mean, I want nobody come tell me, sir, it's due process. What is due process? How is this due process? What in what part is it due process? When there is not a charge, they haven't charged him with anything. But you are keeping him in, in, in there for your reasons, for your control. Because again, you know, this is bigger than what we what we know. And let me say this, me not care who don't like Vars Cartel, you have your opinion and I have mine. I don't know nothing about him more than what I heard in the media. So I do not form an opinion on whether I like him or not. I form my opinion on the rights of your right, my right, and the law. And if this was your brother and your sister, would you want them to sit in jail with no charges? None? Well, he has been held there with no bond, with no bail. How can you give somebody a bond and a bail when you haven't charged them? You have to charge them first. So this Apius Corpus that Isaac McKinnon filed for means... He's telling you that you're holding this man in jail with no due process, with nothing. And he should be released. And if you are going to charge him, charge him. And there are so much more steps that you, the DPP office and the prosecution office could do <coughs> to alleviate such a big, nasty stress of what's happening. Anyway, people, tell me what you think about where the TikTok office say, she talk up a bag of things said we, you see me I say, many might not agree with what she say, which is understandable, because people are going to follow with them own narrative and how them understand law, but she touch upon some very important thing, and also please remind the million dollar question where Vibes Cartel asks, you know, why is he still behind bars, you see me I say, under which law states that your conviction quash, you still to serve prison time. Zimia say, or whatever the case is. As we say, the 29 to the 30, we are going to hear more. So far, me hear say the um, application has been adjourned. That means that them either agree upon it or something like that. Something of that sort. Don't try quote me upon this, you know, but 
So far, it seems like it's a good look and the entertainer are going to be released pretty soon. Last thing we're going to check out in the report is that in baby mother, allegedly baby mother, Sheba, Zemia says she fought out and come talk up a bag of things like say she in a some form of problem. Zemia say, so we're going to play the video and close out the report. Stay tuned for the next upload. Hey, I'm sick and tired. I'm tired and sick. I'm tired of people and them problem. Me really and truly sick and tired of people and them 10,000 what a man problem. Now, if me have my own a man problem with me can solve, why you feel say me can solve yours? God never give me that the gift. They never grant me that the gift. They. Some people then just drain in, then drain your day, then drain your night, and then not sorry for you. Them just want to come and load them burden for you and realize that you have your own a burden. Can you imagine now when me have 50 things are going on my head and you come dump your other 50 things on top of it? You know, feel like me we broke down, me we pop down, me we not no use for myself. I mean, I see why me sit down like a idiot and take on people problem when therapist work is not free and them not pay me for the hour to hour when them want to come kill me with them problem for, right? I'm tired man, I just need a little peace in my life, I just need some tranquility, I just need a moment of serendipity because I'm tired. Sometimes I see the phone ring and I see them call, I see my head start at me from way out. People are new here now, I'm not taking care of the problem. I'm sorry, I have no credit left. The video you just watched contains opinions and interpretations based on the personal views of the creators. These opinions are not intended to offend or harm any individual group or organization. Viewer discretion is advised. Watch you know, I'm a representative V876 Blitz. For this YouTuber. Right?